it is going to be so hot. I can't express that enough. Uh, we can't express that enough. We've got record-breaking heat. On top of that, elevated fire danger, and we could see some numbers that we haven't quite seen before, at least not all summer long, and with records, potentially the case uh, as far as years are concerned. So let's just get right to the numbers, and I'll show you exactly where we're at right now, where we're going. 76 in Ontario this evening, 68 for Burbank, 69 Lake Elsinore, and 67 as we head to Long Beach. And as we get a look at the rest of our forecast right here, a couple things going on. So here we have it. We've got our weather headlines telling us what to expect. Near average temperatures through Thursday. Dangerously hot conditions for Labor Day. And uh, Sunday really being the hottest day of the holiday weekend with the sea breeze eventually returning by Monday by Labor Day. But even then we're still expecting tremendous heat. So we've got excessive heat warnings lasting through Sunday and Monday. Pretty much the entire Southland looking at hot conditions and under those warnings really from the coast all the way into our inland valleys. So as we get a look at the numbers and really what to expect over the next few days, we've got high pressure building and that's what's going to continue to keep temperatures very hot. And a look at my extended forecast showing you uh, numbers mild tonight, 60s and then by tomorrow, 70s, 80s, 90s, triple digits by Friday and then taking a big leap going from numbers like 104, which already is pretty hot, to 113 on Saturday, 115 on Sunday, 108 Monday, slightly cooler Tuesday, and more cooling by Wednesday. And for the IE, the high desert, and the mountains, we are expecting temperatures to also stay hot through the holiday weekend, triple digits across the board, even through our Labor Day Tuesday, Wednesday. Again, a bit of a sea breeze cooling us down, but not really penetrating most inland spots until later in the week. So 114 degrees, that's going to be pretty much a commonality across the entire Southland. Wow. Back to you guys. I don't know if I've ever experienced 114 degrees. Only in Las Vegas for me. Right. Yeah.